Hi everyone, this is Region of Sparta speaking, and I'm playing Empire Total War. This is going to be my first ever campaign, so I'm going to be playing on normal. Don't hate me for that. And seeing as it's my first campaign, I'm not going to make it too hard for myself either. Um, I'm only going to play this until Rome 2 comes out, and then I'm probably going to put this on the back burner to be completely honest. As well, Rome 2 is going to be a bit more interesting for me I think. And obviously, as I'm called Regent of Sparta, I'm going to be playing as the Spartans in Rome 2 if that makes sense to anyone. So yeah. Uh, I'll probably play as the British actually. I could play something like... Nah. I wouldn't know how to play as them. British sound easy enough. So here we go. Your first priorities as an island nation should be to ensure you have adequate naval defences in place, as a strong navy is the key to protecting your shores. Beyond that, maintain friendly relations with other Protestant nations, such as the United Provinces, Hanover, Prussia and Sweden, as the ever-present threats from Catholic France and Spain may require a joint action by allies in the near future. In addition to securing your position at home, look to the preservation of your colonies in America and the Caribbean. France and Spain are always interested in expanding their overseas territories, and your colonists will provide easy pickings for less scrupulous nations, if left unprotected. There is also much unexploited territory in the Indian subcontinent. Gain a foothold here before your rivals do. The once mighty Mughal Empire is on the verge of falling apart, but it is still important to move swiftly. The up-and-coming Maratha Confederacy is ready to pounce and forge an empire of their own, so allying with them against the Mughals could be a useful strategy. It is especially vital to act in India before the French gain a foothold and begin to work against you as they have in America. Now, of course, in real life, Britain lost its American colonies, but gained all of India. I couldn't actually guarantee that I'd manage the same feat, to be honest. And looking at this, I already can see a slight problem, in that there's a French navy there. Six right, six right, six right, brig. I don't actually know what these mean. Anyway, I'm going to stop recording for a second, I just need to check something. Hello everyone, right, I'm back. I've been spending some time trying to figure out how to get this thing to work. And how it all works. Obviously the game is quite new to me. Also, you may notice I've changed a bit my sound settings a little bit, so I don't know if you things are coming through a bit clearer. To another nation when it is within the highlighted area. Right click on a fleet to engage in naval combat. Well, that was fairly obvious, I'd have thought. Um, right. Uh, okay. Obviously, I want to figure out what I'm going to do. And I've been spending a little bit of time reading up, figuring out what I should do. I would love to know though. This tab shows all existing buildings in the selected town or city. Mouse over them to see what can yet be constructed. Right click on a picture to see its description. Left click on a building to add it to the queue. And again. Yeah, whatever. That's fairly obvious to me. Um, what's not obvious to me is how I recruit units. I still haven't figured that out. Hold on, what for else? What does that do? As your population level increases, villages will grow into towns, enabling the construction of buildings for improving income, happiness, military or research capabilities. 
In Empire Total War, buildings are spread throughout a region in towns, ports and cities, rather than being concentrated solely at its capital. Okay. Right, now that's a very different mechanic to Rome. That does change things quite a lot. Um, I really need whatever that technology is. Hmm. Division of labour. Yeah, I need that. I need that because I'm going to need decent ports. Anyway, I'll be back in just a second. I've just got to check something again. Sorry. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Empire Total War. Anyway, as I was saying, I think my immediate objective should be secure this area. Right, because that's pirates that I'm at war with. So I can take them on easily enough. France, well at some point I'm going to have to take it from them. United Provinces, I'm allied with these guys so I don't really want to screw with them. New Spain, New Spain. I could take those two easily enough. I'd have to kill these guys though, obviously. Obedience to the system of government within a nation is measured in public order. If unhappiness begins to outweigh happiness and state repression at any point, then the resultant unrest can lead to rebellion if left unchecked. Keeping taxes at reasonable levels and leaving troops as a garrison will in most cases keep order in the region. Now that's interesting. I've not seen that before. Exempt region from tax. So I can just say, right, that region isn't happy, I can just exempt it. I've seen that in Shogun, but obviously I haven't played this game before, so that's a little bit new to me. Right, anyway, as I was saying. Secure the Caribbean, I think, is my first objective. Then once I've done that, I'll probably declare war on Spain next. Because... Well, that's not very good. But you see, these plantations are very high yield. So is Colonial that one, though, plantations really? provide tradable goods for shipping back to your home region, the quantity of which is dependent on the type of plantation and its building level. Spices, tobacco, tea, cotton, coffee and sugar can all be grown from plantations. Right, so that gives me more money. That's 360 just from there. Yeah, that's kind of worth upgrading, isn't it? Oh, come on. What is this? The income of a plantation is dependent on the global market price of the goods they produce, which is in turn dependent on supply and demand across all nations. For up-to-date information, check the Trade tab on the Government Details panel, accessed via the button at the bottom right of the screen. So, Government, what's that? Government and Trade. World Market. So, do they need coffee or do they need sugar at this point? That's what the question I want to know. Sugar. Coffee. I think the answer would be coffee. After all, no point producing things that aren't needed. Yeah, I have no idea how I play with this if I'm being honest.
Now that's... Oh, I hadn't realised that. I have allied trade routes. Okay then. Anyway, once I've captured the Caribbean, I'd love to say assault France, but that sounds like a suicide mission. Could I take France? It'd be freaking audacious. It'd be very, very, very audacious actually. But I wonder if I could. It's probably a very bad idea though, I'd have thought at this point. Of course, if I declare war on Spain, then it makes very good sense to capture Gibraltar. I mean, in real life, the British did that. Capture Gibraltar. Then that, maybe, I don't know. And obviously, before that, these things. That. There is an argument for taking these guys out. A fleet without an admiral can have a captain promoted directly from its ratings. Yeah, 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 Simply. that's not interesting to me. Um, right. So, yeah, it seems you get most of your wealth from trade then, do you? That would seem to make some amount of sense. Hold on. Ah. Oops, a bonus attack for reason. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Where am I making most of my money from? That's the next question I want to know. Where I'm making my money. Oh, I have to capture Gibraltar. I hadn't realised that. And I have to capture the Leeward Islands. Oh, well, in that case, that makes sense to go after them straight away. Um, anyway, what was I looking for? I was looking for something. Eh, I've forgotten what it was. Hold a second. Um, oh, yes. Money. No, that's a different type of lists. No, I don't want that. Policy? No, that don't help me. Hmm. Where do I see how much money I make? Is this it? I think this might be, I'm not sure. Come on. The National yeah, sure. Summary tab is used to display important information about the state of your nation in one place for ease of reference. Okay, so my trade is quite substantial.
because apparently my colonies are making me a lot of money. That makes things interesting. I don't want to lose it then. Maybe I should have another... Yeah, maybe I should have some more um, trade policies. I don't know how you do that. But I'll figure that out soon enough. Because there doesn't seem to be a diplomat anywhere. Anyway. Right. Terms are divided into two campaign seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Summer and winter. To check the season... With advances in military thinking and the relevant research, new firing drills will become available to many of your units. Unit commanders will more effectively direct fire on the enemy, resulting in an improved kill rate and a greater impact on morale. I don't actually know if that would be necessary. I can see why that would be necessary. Yeah, that gives me a lot of wealth. I want that. Don't know if I want it right now, though. Cambridge. Oh, a bit of a choice here. Do I want research immediately, or do I want more money? Oh, that's a tricky one. Hold on. Because I saw something over here, what was it? No. Oh, no, that ain't it. get that's how I get um agents that's how I convert people and get priests right Okay, well that answers an earlier question. Traditionally, the wilds of Russia had a monopoly on the fur trade. But now, other nations have an opportunity to cash in due to their colonial possessions in the New World. Hunting and trade with the native population have produced a regular supply of animal pelts for shipping to other continents. I'm going to leave him there for a little bit because I want that to convert. What is this though? Yeah, sorry if this is slightly boring. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck you meant to do. Um, ooh. I'm sure I saw it near here somewhere. Come on. What does that do?
Oh, I see, that's like counts towards my score. Right, okay. Uh, I still haven't made a first move yet, and this is probably rather boring to watch. Sorry about that. This panel shows you the information about a given blah, blah, general blah, working blah, for the nation. Yes. His name, position on. Be back in just a second. Right, I need to enhance my naval abilities, I think. That's the next thing. So... Now, do I want a fifth rate? Or do I want a fourth rate? Oh, I don't know. No, I'm not going to do it yet. Now I think about it. What I am going to do... build some troops because obviously if I'm going to go over here and capture God, where is it that thing I'm going to need a bit more soldiers hmm planning your construction needs is essential to yes, a successful yes, yes, empire yes, yes. Although the age of large-scale official buccaneering is over, due to bigger and better organized navies, enemy shipping is still fair game in times of war. Right-click on a trade route to draw additional income from raiding their trade fleets. Right. So I'm going to combine that with that, I think. A blockade is a cordon of ships used to prevent the enemy from trading through a port or moving any fleet that is based there. You can blockade a port by right-clicking on it as you would another fleet. If there is an enemy fleet inside, a cordon graphic will appear to indicate a blockade is underway. Otherwise, your fleet will sail straight into the port and occupy it. Probably no point. Um... What do I need to upgrade next? Got 2,000 gold. What do we want to spend it on economy?
Don't see the point of that yet. Yeah, why not? Do not concentrate the construction of military buildings within a single region. Spread out to ensure the availability of troops during an invasion. Okay, that's useful advice, I guess. Right. That's all my money spent. Honestly, don't know if I have enough to take on this navy. Honestly, I do not know. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have enough. What I thought. Probably have enough to be absolutely honest. Yeah, let's go. Considering it's my first turn, if I lose, I'll probably load the game. I know some of you will probably scream at me for doing that, but never mind. Winning a battle isn't just about greater numbers. The balance of units and the commander's ability are essential. Look at the strength ratio weather and reinforcement information before committing yourself. The boot yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'll end this upload, I think, with a bow. That'll make up for all the boring watching you had to do at the start. Knowing the direction of the wind and how your ship will perform in it is crucial. The large arrow on the radar map shows the prevailing wind. Note there is a green arrow on every ship's reticule, which points downwind. Learning the differences between sails on each of your vessels before executing an order can make the difference between victory and defeat. I just realised my admiral ship called Achilles. I hope this is not the Achilles of my flipping campaign is all I'm going to say to that. That'd be just my luck that it would. Here we go. Here we go. Now that ship there is probably going to be the most dangerous one. The, re the other two I can probably deal with easily enough.
or else he's gonna come and raid me. Ah, ah, yes, get. Okay, I'll shut up with the pirate merchant. Right. I probably want these to turn and face them in a second. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have them. What I'm trying to do here is get all of my fleets to line up and shoot them one by one. That may or may not be a good idea, but I'm doing it. Ah, he's fired already. Oh, well, never mind. You're shooting at your own bloke there, is what I'm going to say. Brig took a bit of a pound in just then. Oh well. I lost a lot of cannons on that ship. Oh, not good. Blimey, I've already routed an enemy ship, apparently without even really trying. from rowing. Ah, you bugger. Oh well. We've only got 11 guns left of 26. He isn't too threatening with that, that lot. Most of mine... Oh, blimey, that took a pounding. This thing only has 8 guns left. Must have taken a real good pound in there.
get on there, but I don't think that matters too much. No, it's a different. Yeah, I think it might be. Different. Not, not sure. formation now and finish this battle off. Thinking, so you're yeah, not doing anything useful. Take the Admiral wide. This is actually going a lot better than I expected it to. I expected to have lost a ship by now, but I haven't. Except for that one's taking quite bad damage, but hey, I can live with that. Oh, he's taking a little bit of damage there, but oh well. This thing only has one gun on its right side. That's not even going to do any damage there. Might as well not even bother. Oh, missed the opportunity. Oh well. Or maybe not. Don't tell me I nearly hit my own boat.
Ah, oh, well, that went a lot better than I was expecting it to. displayed here, along with a breakdown of the condition of each surviving unit in your army or navy. The button on the right-hand side breaks the statistics down to a per unit level. Yay, down go the pirates. Right, anyway. Thank you all for watching. See you some other time.